before we close, John Meacham, The Hope of Glory. Tell us about it. Uh, uh, <laughs> the crucifixion in, in two minutes. Wow. Okay. Um, for it or against it? Je all right. Jesus's tracking poles were uh -huh. very high yeah. oh, heading boy. into the Jerusalem caucus. Got it. Um, no, sorry. Uh, this is a uh, series of Good Friday uh, homilies, uh, mm. essays about uh, there are seven things in the Passion uh, that Jesus said from the cross, according to the Gospels. And they kind of, kind of form a last sermon. And it's about forgiveness and mercy and grace and duty. Uh, and the, sto the Christian story is unimaginable without both Good Friday and Easter. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that fascinates me is for two millennia, Christians have reverenced not an empty tomb, but a cross. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> what did that mean in real time, both to the, the person who is the the Lord who was executed, and how did his followers make sense of this cataclysm? So l l let me just, uh, two things that Jesus said on the cross that have always uh, fascinated me and, and wondered uh, sure. theologically what was behind them. One, uh, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? He knew what was coming. If he were not, if he were God and man, the God part of him knew right. what was coming. Why would he ask Jesus, why would he ask God, why hast thou forsaken me? And of course, it goes back to the Old Testament. Tell us so about that. He speak, so Jesus of Nazareth is speaking in the vernacular of first century Judea, and he knew Psalm 22. Right. And the 22nd Psalm begins with, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He talks about being surrounded by enemies, by scorned, um, the power of the dog. But it ends with an image of deliverance. And the central drama of the Hebrew Bible is we have fallen into corruption and disorder, but Israel is in fact a uh, chosen nation and that God will ultimately f deliver the right. nation into uh, restoration. Right. And redemption. So it is, it, is, it is a reference to a song right. that is about restoration. Exactly. And, and, and finally, it is finished the last three words. The, the Greek word, and I won't try to pronounce it with my Chattanooga accent, uh, is it is accomplished. It is done. And the, the antecedent of it is always what's so important. Um, you haven't had antecedent thrown at you. I have this, not said no. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, the antecedent of it is I have done the work that I was sent to do. And to me, what's so fascinating about this story is that the disciples, the people there, weren't sure what this meant. If they had been sure, why would they have dismissed the first reports of the resurrection? Mm -hmm. This is not a smooth and uncomplicated story. Mm -hmm. And if you climb back, and this is part of the historian's hat, if you go back to that moment and try to put yourself in the shoes of those who were undergoing it, I come away with a stronger faith, not a weaker one. Mm -hmm. Well, the book is, the Hope of Glory, Reflections on the Last Words of Jesus from the Cross. Uh, I can't wait, can't wait to read through John it. John Meacham. John Meacham, thank you so much. John, thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.